everybody's mentioned a lot of special syntax for Google. This is a very useful and easy way to narrow down the pool of what you're searching. If you limit your search to in title, you're searching only the title of a web page or news story, some much smaller data pool than you would be searching otherwise. So you can get away sometimes with doing a search like Instagram. Not often, that's a still very general search term. But you, because your, your pool is much smaller, you can use more general search terms. In URL, if you search, do a search term and then use in, in URL library, you will find materials on library websites. That's a very quick and easy way, again, to narrow down your search to authoritative, useful websites. I do want to talk a little bit about the syntax for Google News, because I don't think we talk about that very much. There are two really cool syntax that I think you should know about. The first one is called location. Now location is supposed to be for states and countries. And occasionally I found it works for cities, but not very often. It's a little wonky. I recommend that you test it. Here's an example. If I'm going to search for the terms cow, cows and fodder in Ghana, I get five different results from resources in Ghana. So this is good if I'm looking for you know, agriculture and that kind of thing. This is finding me materials I can look for. But you'll also notice that there are only three different resources on this page. There's only coming from three different news sources here. So I might want to do a search for source. I don't know of any news sources in Ghana. I'm not familiar with Ghana media. But I do know that if I use the source syntax with Google News, that I can search for partial titles. You don't have to search for New York Times. Or you don't have to search for Business Week. You can use single word searches and it will find the, the word in the title of the different resources available on Google News. So if I search for agriculture fodder and for source I used Africa, it will find news sources that include the word Africa. And you'll see on the screenshot that those are five separate sources. I found more sources <coughs> using an incomplete source search than I did when I used the location search. And not only that, I have discovered materials, it's a resource discovery, I've discovered new sources that I didn't know about. 